If there was an ingredient that promised to make you smarter, more creative, more financially successful, would you do it? Few would say no to that. Still, few people consider diversity. Montreal's Startup Festival brings together innovators, entrepreneurs and investors. And this year, there is an emphasis on diversity. Martine Saint-Victor is an entrepreneur. She's also a perfect model of what this new initiative can do. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank you for calling me perfect <laughs> in this capacity. You, I love it. You are perfect. You always <laughs> look perfect. It's so Thank nice you. to see you. you. Um, it's interesting because when I was reading the literature on what diversity can do, I don't think people think that it can create, you know, intelligence mm -hmm. and innovation and all those things. But it's, it, diversity helps you think outside your own confines, right? It does. It, it brings another voice to the table. Um, for example, you and I could have gone to the exact same school, take the, take the exact same classes, but what we bring to the table is different because of our personal experiences. So my opinion doesn't supersede yours, but together we bring a richness to the conversation. And the companies that do the best are the com companies where you see more diversity and leadership for one and also in the in the workforce. It's interesting though because most people think of, of, of creating diversity after the fact. You know, they have the company, Correct. then they bring in the That's right. But you're saying that it's much better to bring it in before. Before, of course, because the, the more diversity you have at the beginning of the conversation of what you're trying to build, the better it is going to be. The better you'll be able to uh, target certain things that perhaps you would have not targeted if, if you had a, a homogeneous voice, you know what I mean? So the, so the difference, the, the diversity brings a difference, brings a richness, brings a, a, um, a com not a complicity, but a, a diversity also in thoughts. It's not only, it's not only in, in, in uh, image, it's also in, in content. What was your experience like? Because you well, you have a, a PR and media relations agency. I mean, what, what was it like for you when you were trying to start? Um, I was extremely lucky because I knew where to where to go. Um, also, you know, I was well surrounded. I had mentors, but I'm very, very aware this is not the case for everybody. And so I feel when you're in the room, you have to hold the door open for other people. And this is my position, and this is why I'm very happy to be the the emissary of this this diversity initiative at Startup Fest. So I know for many people who come from different backgrounds and may have language, for example, uh, difficulties or, or, or uh, uh, limits based on religion or sexual orientation or other, it's more difficult to know where to start. So what everybody wants is, it, there's a universal theme. Everybody who, who enters business wants equal footing. Nobody wants a free ride. And so what this initiative helps uh, create is this opportunity for equal footing the same opportunity for everybody which is only fair especially you know when you're talking about sort of marginalized communities they really don't even know where to start right so Correct. this this startup festival for example you were saying that on Saturday anybody can just come in and, and look at the displays Absolutely. and see what's going on so it's to give them ideas on where they can go for help yes. and investment and all those things. yes and what's interesting is that on the Saturday anybody can just walk in like you said and it's to get a sense of what the startup uh, culture is like as well and so on Saturday you want to have conferences but you will have booths you will have access to people who can help you uh, uh, go for further and I think it's a nice opportunity if people are not yet willing to invest in, in the in the five-day pass they can at least come in and, and get a sense a, a feel of what the festival is about and when you say startups it can be any small business right we're talking any about individuals trying to create Absolutely. Startup really means emerging business. So, st you know, start a business, perhaps something that hasn't been done before. The, the, the best example of a startup recently is Emmanuel Macron's political party. Because he started <laughs> he did scratch. well with that, didn't yes. he? And that, that was a startup. Because That's very interesting. Yes. I hadn't thought of it like yes. that, yeah, but it's so, true. And so th just to show the diversity in what a startup can be. So it takes place July 10th to the 14th. I think we can get that up on the screen. It's at Parc de Dieppe, 3400 Pierre Dupuis Avenue, and you're saying that that's right across from the old port. Yes, it's very, very bucolic. Okay, bring yes. some fans, because it's going to be a little hot. <laughs> <right? laughs> and if you want more information, you can just also go to the web, uh, startupfestival.com. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you, Matsumi. We'll be right back.